greeting friends welcome to this session in this session we are going to talk about pick tool and transformations obviously this is the first tool in our toolbar and i have placed it in later section just because of its usefulness so when nothing is selected or no object is created we see this kind of property bar on selecting pick tool so here how it helps in managing the document we can select size of the document here we can choose a3 a4 a1 business card whatever size we want as we see uh, that same thing in the starting when we just click a new document from here you can change the size and it will show custom here here you can change orientation portrait to landscape this setting uh, lets you use your page size to all the pages or you want to keep it different for different pages means that size setting settings should apply to your current page only from here you can change the units it can be inches millimeter pixels whatever you want and here it's the nudging distance this is the distance between uh, any objects incremental movement means if you have created an object with press of arrow key on your keyboard how much inches you want it to travel you want it to travel more you can select that we're going to just see the example of it i'm going to create a shape here so if the nudge distance is 0 i'm going to move it with arrow key and nothing is happening but if i change it to 0.5 inches here and i click and now i'm going to click on the arrows it's going to let it move to that level of distance that's how it works so we can uh, use the precision to keep it point 1 uh, inch or we can use it as per our dimensions and sizes if we are working on bigger size document we can keep this as in spec if we are working on smaller size objects and documents we can keep this distance less and here x and y coordinates or distance of duplication is there means if you are duplicating an object by pressing plus sign so how far it's going to come when you duplicate it with control d so this control d helps you to get that dimension here while we when we press plus it duplicates it there and then only so it, this 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 does not impact your duplication with sign of plus but it impacts the duplication when you are doing it with control plus t so i'm going to tell you how this distancing and uh, angle in that thing is going to help you to create beautiful objects in here but before that we need to take this shape so i'm taking this shape and i'm going to talk about a uh, few things here we can use uh, this pick tool to fill color also in the object but before that here if we select this uh, this is going to treat that object as filled so this object is not filled and if i don't click this and this is not checked or selected i cannot select this object from inside i have to select this object by clicking on the line so it's going to act as a transparent object but sometime it can cause you a problem or sometime uh, it can help you when you are working on some object inside this box so that depends on choice so you can change it now if i'm going to select it in between i can select it so now work on uh, let's see how this can help in filling the color so on the palette if we select any color you can fill that color just by clicking on that So this is how this pick tool helps us to pick the color. Also, I'm going to select no color in this thing, and we are going to work on transformation. So how these transformation work? For transformation to work, you have to select this object again. Means if you haven't selected it, you have to double click it, 
and this transformation comes or if you have selected you have to click it again and transformation comes so what are the transformation we can do we can rotate the object nice and we can skew the object see this is how we can skew the object to the dimensions we want This is how these transformations work here. But interestingly, you uh, can rotate the object on its axis. And another thing that you can do is you can move the axis also. So if I want to rotate it on this axis, I can just take out that center and place it here. And let's see what happens. Now this is moving on this particular axis. So I want to shape. I can work on this thing. or I'm just going to move it in the center midpoint and see how this is going to rotate. So wherever you want it to rotate, you can place the center there. And once we are going to move this thing out of that shape, it can happen for any shape. Uh, now we can move it out and we can keep it at a distance also. And here we can rotate it in that direction. So you can see how this transformation tool helps you in doing many things or placing your object in that sense. Or just checking the dimensions also, whether it's gonna overlap or not. Right? Okay, now we are I'm gonna understand some things here with duplication tool. For that, I'm gonna select another rectangle or we can start from a straight line so if we are going to create a straight line here just see what happens these are the uh, options i'm getting uh, obviously we have discussed about this in drawing tools so if i uh, duplicate it with plus sign it is just gonna overlap another line over it So you can see that. But if I'm gonna do it with the help of Control D, what's gonna happen? Let's see. Control D. So it has followed that guideline of using 0.2525 XY distance. So if I'm gonna do again and again while selecting it, it's gonna follow the process. So if I want to create some shape in that dimension, it can be helpful in duplicating. So just knowing it can help you duplicate this thing and create staircase-like structure here, right? Or we can change the dimensions or coordinates to help us better. Like if I'm gonna do this Y or zero, let's see what happens. Now I'm gonna duplicate it in that sense. You can see this moving in horizontal direction. Same applies to vertical direction, but we can apply this thing to the rotation also. So let's see how this rotation is going to go. I have selected this thing and I'm going to keep the distance at zero. I'm not changing that distance. I'm just selecting this object and I'm going to change this angle to a, for a case 30 degree here. Right? But after duplicating, so uh, I'm gonna duplicate it for one and change the angle here. Sometimes it requires another thing, and see how it is creating it automatically. So that's how it works. I put the angle for once, I put the angle for twice. We can do it again with varied level of angle. See how this is working. So we can create many effects 
but the best part it's not about uh, you can rotate it on excess you can rotate it uh, uh, without excess or out of that excess also I'm just selecting this pick tool and I am moving this object I'm making it a little smaller so that you can see the space and I've just moved the center to this midpoint and now I'm gonna duplicate it control B I'm gonna change the angle and see what happens so we can create number of effects with basic shapes just by this pick tool and the transformation same uh, we can do with the object while taking an ellipse here I'm just going to take an ellipse and I'm going to move the center to uh, this point and see what happens and I'm going to take uh, the distance this time and take this to the distance sorry I'm going to duplicate it first control B and I'm going to take this time as uh, 15 degree so see what happens we have created a beautiful flower here just by rotating it on the axis but what if I'm rotating it on the axis you can see this thing happening I'm just going to take this tool and move this by clicking another time and I'm going to take the content and I'm going to press Ctrl V and again I'm going to put 15 degree and see the effect changes so now this is the flag with flag petals and center is overlapped but what if I want uh, something else in center so I can move it out of that object also I'm going to do it here and double click Pick tool here, so I have to move it out wherever I want to keep it. I can keep it, but I'm closing, keeping it closed so that we can see the object. And I'm pressing Ctrl D, and after that, 30 degree, and see now. So, whatever we want to create, we can create with the help of Pick tool and transforming it. So, duplicating it helps us, but also. We can change this x value to some uh, 0.25 and see the difference again while I'm doing this same exercise. Uh, now I'm going to select this ellipse once again before I type the test. And I am going to move that center out like on this quadrant. And this time I have made that distance 0.25 on x axis and I'm going to duplicate it control D and I am going to put an angle here so see what happens you can create an another thing by just revolving it on that axis same thing we can do it with the help of changing that at y axis so it's continuously moving so when you're playing with the distance, you can see what can happen here. So I'm going to take this distance to 0.1 and 0.1 here. And I'm going to repeat that exercise again. Control B. And this time, again, 30 degree I'm putting it. So let's see what happens. Now, this is going above. So we can create these kind of effects, whatever you want. That's how it's gonna work. So you can show this thing by using this. We're gonna meet in the next session and gonna understand how shape tool works. Thank you.